three, four, five that hold it in alignment and they go into this other piece piece now see the funny thing about this Delrin is that you can't you can't use pins in Delrin because they just stick so what I ended up doing Let me see if I can get these out. I got this uh, little brass that I use as a uh, bearing material. Okay, you see this brass I put in here? That acts like a bearing. And that way the pin rides on the brass and it kind of like keeps it from sticking. Now what I used was this uh, k &S brass tube I think it's a, uh, what does it say, 730 seconds by 014 thousandths. Five point five six millimeter. Got this at uh, Ace Hardware. Now you see, you, you can probably order it online too. It's just brass tube, and I just cut it, just pressed it into those holes, and that acts as my uh, bearing surface. Yeah, it works out real well. That's nice. Okay, we'll take this piece off the front. Now you probably don't have to put as many screws on here as I did. I don't know, I think I went a little crazy. Yeah, this is just a, a dust cover. That one on the bottom. It's got different diameters in there because of the the original one. This is where the the ring went then you had a lock ring here and this lock ring is what locked this on of there 
I since took that off. And I made these brass pieces in here so it would ride on that brass. And I did the same thing back here. I undercut the uh, undercut that a little bit just to true it up and I made these brass pieces so it would ride on the brass instead of the the cast iron so I made the one in the front a lot thicker because there's a groove in here and I didn't want the the ring to fall into the groove and get stuck in there so I had to make that a lot wider a lot thicker so it would be above that groove it would stick out beyond that groove this is like a like a snap ring groove of some sort so I wanted to make this wider than that So you remember me talking about putting a groove in there. I thought I had a circular groove. I guess I didn't. I just got a groove here. So we'll get that out of the way. Now this piece here, I put this on because when I put the nose cone on or the dust cover, I needed something for the dust cover to mount to. So I made this ring. Now here's the Now this piece here stabilizes the top of the ring and this bolt at the bottom stabilizes that ring at the bottom so it's just flush. So we can take this off here. Now this bolt just goes through here and it's tapped on this side like a clamp. So take that out there. And then these two come out. Then this ring comes off. And what I ended up doing was I took a cut along here. I set this up. And I measured it with edge finder I measured here 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 and here so I got different points then ended up so I could put a circle on here because this this web is a little bit off center from the center of here I didn't want to take a lot off, I just wanted to chew it up. So I had to find the different edges so I could take just the minimum amount off. 
and of course here it took quite a bit off the bottom and not very much off the top you can see it barely just cleaned up the top but that ring is just to hold that nose cone on that's all it's for they don't want any dirt getting inside there and then to, to like I said to stabilize the top of the ring I put this piece on there but this wasn't originally for that purpose this was to cover up that hole let me see if I can find a wrench for that So this was the original hole that was in there. And I drilled that out and I was putting a helicoil in there because I was going to put a screw or something in there. And then I decided to abandon that. I just left the helicoil in there because it's not going to hurt anything. I thought, well, if I ever want to use it for something someday, it's, it's there. I didn't break the tang off so I could still take it out. But it's not it's not inside the part, so it's not hitting anything. So it's just basically sitting there. Then I drilled and tapped this hole to hold this cover on. And I had to put a radius on here to match the radius of this. But, like I said, I, I can take this screw out, and that gives me access to this hole. And I can throw some oil in there, lubricate that shaft. So it makes it easy for that. So, of course, I squared the, the edges on it like everybody else does squared all the surfaces I thought well if I ever put it in a vise but then you know after I put the holes in there and the dowel pin holes I'll never be able to put it in a vise because of all the contraptions on it it's got to be mounted on a plate with the belt so well that was the first thought you know do that and like I said I I sunk these surfaces a little deeper so I could put the rings in there, the brass rings, make it true. It's not that they weren't true, but I just wanted to put a piece of brass in there. And I, I mounted that flat so I could take a cut on the back because that's where the the back of this mounts to that and I didn't want to paint its surface on there so I took a cut on there to make that true and parallel to the front you can see where it never really cleaned up the never cleaned up the paint here because that's below this surface So that's pretty much that.